welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer, and if you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is kind of a kind of a reorganizing my craft room type of video, and I am testing out my GoPro 10, which I have and I have used before. Um, the last time I used this camera was for a time lapse for. Um, I don't remember which house video it was, but it was a couple of house videos actually. So um, I have used this before, but I'm just now getting it out of its case. And for some reason, I only have one battery <laughs> that works. So I gotta find my um, my charger. Um, I found the base for it, but I couldn't find the, the cord. So anyway, anyway, so we're gonna be um, reorganizing my craft room, like I said. And luckily this camera shows you my entire craft room. So I don't have to like, move the camera around, which is amazing. So this is what it looks like right now. And um, it's a little bit of a mess, gonna be honest. So we're just gonna do like um, some cleanup. So I'm gonna do some cleanup first and then um, um, I might do a time lapse of that maybe. And then um, we're gonna do some reorganizing. So I'm gonna end up, I'm probably gonna end up swapping my computers over to this desk and then putting my embroidery machine and my stuff over here on this desk. And then um, I might might rearrange this area, um, but we'll see, we'll see how far I get today. So here we go. right now but actually I got all the garbage out and I kind of have it a little bit organized here so um, I've got all my materials here and um, my kits are in a pile right here and then I've got a pile of miscellaneous stuff that I'm actually gonna move upstairs because I don't really use it every day um, and then I got all the garbage out and I've got all the boxes out of here so we're making progress um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my music because I've got a box of music here, like sheet music. And I do want to keep my music stuff in here too, even though technically, you know, it's not a craft, but it, it's my craft. So, um, also today we're hoping to put up these curtains that, um, so we can filter some light. So here's the rod that we have for the curtains and then we got some very pretty elegant uh, light filtering curtains. Um, I didn't want, I didn't want like, I wanted something that was not busy. So something that filtered the light a little bit better and I can actually do some like, you know, better camera work in here. So that's gonna happen today. Hopefully my husband can help me with that. Okay, now it's a matter of organizing. So um, I'm gonna probably, um, I'm, I'm debating if I wanna organize on camera or not. <laughs> Cause I only have so much time today because my husband went to run some errands and I'm taking advantage cause he's got the kids. So, and uh, two of my kids are at school. So I'm just trying to figure out in my brain like the best way to organize my stuff. So all I know is for sure I want all my computer stuff over here and all my embroidery stuff over here. So I know for sure that's what I want. So um, I'm gonna end up I'm, I'm gonna end up keep um, I'm gonna keep going I guess. So 
Let's keep going. to put my kits because I've got a pile of them here and I need to figure out where to put them. I might just stick them underneath the cricket for now, but the thing is I need to be able to move the cricket so I can use it. Uh, or I might just stick them in a pile. <laughs> I need to eventually get some bins is what I need to do. So I guess for now I'll just stick the ones that I'm not working on in a pile. So these are these are actually all finished stockings. Just extra material. This is um, a bunch of like extra color threads that I have on hand. Um, stick it here. And then here's a tree skirt, and then another like I think it's an advent calendar or felt calendar. I gotta make this for my mother in law. And here's the kit I'm working on right now. So stick that there. Garbage. Throw this out. And that's about it. Okay, I switched cameras because my other one died. <laughs> and I have uh, no idea where my cable is to charge the batteries. So I'm using my phone now. And um, I figure since I've got it, uh, my office nice and organized, well, as organized and clean as I can be right at the moment, uh, I'm gonna open up some Amazon packages that I got. Um, and I'm really excited because I've been needing some of this stuff. Um, if you remember in my previous videos, um, I did mention that there was a couple things that I needed still. One was a hole punch, which I'm excited to try out and test for the first time. I haven't tested it or tried it or anything. And then um, I ended up getting a cutting mat with a rotary blade, which I'm really excited about because I'm going to be making some new stuff. So, um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some zippers. Yeah, I got some zippers. So we're going to be making some stuff. Um, not in this video, but we're just going to open up the packages and I will show you what I got. First package is a big one. I believe this is the cutting mat. two-sided so if one side completely dies I can flip it over and use it again so that's exciting I'm really really excited to use my cutting mat um, it does come with some instructions on how to use the rotary blade and it has the rotary blade in here and another ruler um, I do have a long ruler already, but now I have two. It's just a little bit different though. This ruler this ruler has a different edge on it. So 
Here's the rotary. I've never used one before. <laughs> so this will be interesting. There's that and then the ruler. It's in like a plastic case. There we go. It's a nice ruler. It's got a nice, it's got a different edge to it. It's got the measurements here as well. It's different. Nice and see-through so you can kind of see what you're doing. Okay. So actually, I'm going to put this right here. So I'm going to put my brand new mat right on this table. And this is where it's going to live. And it fits. I wanted it up here because I have a little baby. I've got a one-year-old that likes to climb. And she's learning how to, to walk. And she is grabbing everything. So I want it up high so she can't reach it. So I'm gonna, this is going to live here. And uh, we're going to open up two more packages. They're smaller. I feel so professional with the cutting mat right here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at this. We've got, we have this one and then we have this one. So we're going to open this one first. Okay. And this, this box, I think my kids got into it. Yeah, they got into it. Okay. They do that. So this box has zippers in it. I'm not going to reveal what I'm going to be making with these zippers. But I will be making something. I'm actually gonna get another pair, or another pair, another type of zipper as well. So these are just the, the plain colored uh, nylon zipper that you can use in any craft project. I've got three different sizes. So these are about, I could actually measure it, <laughs> 14 inches long. And then these ones are small, these ones are like, these ones are 10 inches, I believe they're 10 inches. No, they're eight inches, they're eight inches. And these ones are large. These ones are roughly 18 inches, roughly. So three different sizes, all different kinds of colors, fun stuff. I wanted to get different colors because I wanted to play around with color a little bit. So those are the zippers that I got. And the last thing that my kids got into, <laughs> luckily I actually stopped them before, so they cut into it. Um, but this is a hole puncher. And it's got a free tool inside. New all tool to mark the positions of hole. Oh, okay, so it's got this thing. It's like a little poker. Make sure I hide this from the little ones. It's got, so it's called called an all. all. I hope I'm saying that right. All it comes with a little tiny ruler and this big fat thing. Oh man, I'm so excited to test it out. I'm not sure what this is. Guessing extra stuff. Oh yeah, there's two extras of these. Okay. Okay, so it's got six six different sizes here. They're not marked. I wonder how I know, like, that's oh, different language. It does come with these numbers, so I'm wondering if I just need to figure out which one goes to what. Because if you notice, there are different... Oh, I see. Okay, so this this takes this off, 
and puts a new one on. I'm not sure if it's just like if it wears out over time. I'm not quite sure about that. But it's got this neat, neat little thing. So cool. I'm gonna have to figure out which size is which and if I have to like mark them, I'm not sure. It says measure and mark your hole, okay. Measure and mark your hole with a ruler and all set included. Replace the punch plate simply undo, so I can replace it. I'm guessing over time it has wear and tear over time. So I have to figure out how many millimeters are each one based on the opening, so like that. So that one's three. Yeah, three. And this one. Oh, wait, is that the same one? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, here we go. Three. And then this one is four. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to measure each one and label it. I kind of want to test this out, and I have something I could test this out in. Okay, so um, if you saw my last video making this, I wanted a hole punch because I don't have one. So now that I have one, let me see, that one might work good. I made the embroidery circle bigger than I wanted because I wasn't quite sure what the biggest... There's an arrow going this way. Oh, okay. So, okay. Moment of truth, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I should just hold it up. We'll find out. I've never used one of these before, so... Get it lined up nice. Oh, I wonder if I should use the use this first. I don't know if that matters, to be honest. Does this matter? It says measure and mark your hole with a ruler. So it's just, I guess it's just to mark it. Now that I have something to, I guess I'll just mark it. Even though technically I really don't need to mark it because I got, I have the circle for reference. So I guess if you don't have a circle, you can mark whatever placement you want and then use okay moment of truth see if this works oh <gasps> did something did you hear that okay I think it did it oh it did something see that it cut into it It did cut into it. You can see it did. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it didn't quite, it didn't quite go all the way through. But it's nice and clean on the front. That's good. It's like a way to get this out of here. See, it did cut it. See that? It did cut it. Maybe because I have so many layers, I'm not sure, but it did cut it. Look how clean that circle is. Okay, let's try. Try again. Although I shouldn't have moved it. Oh well. I gotta go all the way back. I, I guess that's the one negative thing I can think of right now is the fact that I can't like switch it back and forth. Like, it's just one direction. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Okay. That might have done something. Yeah, so it's not quite. I mean, it's it's pretty darn clean, considering I've never used one of these before. And when I digitized this, I was thinking, okay, well, I don't know how big the hole is, but if I do create a hole, at least I have a reinforcement stitch here. So if the hole, if I can create and form a hole in it, 
and for some reason it didn't cut clean or something like that I could it, it, it'll be it's like extra security right here so it's like insurance right that actually works really good I didn't get it quite in the center but dang that's awesome awesome not too bad for my first try okay I do have another one that I made sorry my kids are in the background <laughs> Okay, I do have another one that I made. Um, here's another one that I made for my son. So this one's a little different because I've been I've been experimenting with different um, stabilizers. Um, the the stabilizer I used for this one was a wash away, and that was a mistake. <laughs> so I'm not using that. Um, this one I believe was a cutaway. So I kind of want the marriage between the the wash away and the cutaway. So I'm I'm probably gonna do a tear away. So I'm gonna, anyway, okay, so let's test this out again. Okay, this one seems to be the right size. It might go a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's do one, one smaller one. Just so that's right inside. Like that. I might do one, one more smaller one. Okay. Yeah, I can see how it would, over time, this plate would get like worn down. Okay, try this one. That one might work good. <laughs> okay. Okay, hey, let's see if this, Hey, that worked so good. Oh my gosh, that worked way better that second time around. Oh, look at that. This looks so good. Okay, perfect. Hey guys, this works. <laughs> if you're looking for a hole punch that can go through fabric, this one works really good. Um, and if you get fabric stuck, you could always use this little awl to get it out. I saw the reviews on this particular hole punch and uh, some of the negative reviews were like if it, if it if you punch it it doesn't go all the way through which you saw you saw it didn't quite go all the way through on this one but maybe it's only because this is cut away so it's a little bit thicker and um, it does have felt in here as like a like something like like a, not a stabilizer, but like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like a interfacing. That's the word I'm looking for. So I used felt as kind of interfacing. So it's a little bit thicker here. This one's definitely not as thick. I did use a wash away stabilizer, which, you know, it cuts out like, I did use, I did use felt as you can see, there's felt here. So Oh man, I'm really happy with that. So the reason why I wanted to get a hole punch, there's a couple reasons. One, I wanted to create a cleaner, like a cleaner look for my name tags in general. Uh, I, I, one of my best sellers is my name tags for Christmas and I punch a hole with I don't, now I have this tool, but I usually use like scissors, like I'll, like a really sharp pair of scissors and I just, I go like this. So it's, it's really kind of a crude hole. And then I kind of use a needle and I stick my, um, cording in there, but this looks so much nicer. I like this a lot. I would recommend this tool now that I, now that I know how to work it. It's so cool. And I believe you can, let's see. So if you're done with it. You can't quite oh you can you can lock it oh okay because I figured I, th I figured this would be in the way but it's not so you can lock this with this little thing very neat ooh I'm excited about this toy it's not a toy but <laughs> I'm excited to use this tool for other things to make holes with awesome I'm still debating about putting these in my shop or not because Easter is actually really soon and I don't know how many I can make before Easter, so I'm still up in the air about this. But this I will definitely use for my Christmas name tags. 
this is the perfect tool for that. And possibly um, future projects for this would be great too. So, um, fabulous. I'm so glad I got this. Okay, so I am really happy about my new hole punch and I'm excited to use the zippers that I got. Um, and I plan, and I plan on getting some more um, zippers and my new cutting cutting mat. I'm really excited to use. I've got lots of things to cut on and nowhere to cut it. <laughs> so um, this table that I'm using that has my heat press on it will be um, my cutting table ish you know, my cutting space. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and thanks for joining me. Um, I know it's more of like a, not really more of a work with me, but just like a, you know, help walk me through stuff video, <laughs> opening packages and cleaning my craft room. So um, if you enjoy this kind of content, let me know down below and I will see you in my next one.